Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Pitbull's Garage. See, we got the old Cutlass out for uh, what is that? Another KC Showdown. See, we got the Oldsmobile next to me, and then got a nice uh, custom chop truck. So, try to get some footage. Uh, maybe talk to a couple people about their cars they build. Let's go. The cutlers I parked next to, Ozone Bills got to stick together. Um, here with donor, he's gonna uh, say what year it is and all he's done to it. And go for years, this. It's a 1986, and uh, my first had it since I was 14 in high school. And man, I've just done countless, countless things to it, and I've touched every aspect of it, other than painting the body of the car. You got it up here, you got the motor. I mean, went completely through it, everything brand new. Uh, what size is it? It's a 405 cubic inch small block Chevy. What's it uh, putting down? It's probably putting anywhere from 650 to 700. I mean, probably close to 650. Okay. And uh, what trans? Turbo 350. Turbo 350. It got a 9 inch out back? It's got a 8.5 out of the Grand National. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's like a direct V body swap. Yeah. Hook up pretty good. Now, I have to tell this you. This is only my third time driving it. Oh, okay. I've never, she's probably got 40 miles on it. Okay. I'm just out getting the test in there and stretching your legs a little bit. Any uh, plans in the future? Yeah, I'd like to get it, get the bugs worked out and see what it'll do at the track. You know, street race a little bit. I want the car to be right before I go out and show out, you know. What? What's the what axles? Those are uh, five-ton military axles or rock wells with a chain reaction drop box. And the lift kit started as a 12-inch super lift. Yeah. And I customized it and made it so it's got 25 <laughs> inches lift instead of 12. Yeah. And and all of it's my work. Um, I spent the last few months building that to make it as big as it is now. Uh, 63 inch tractor tires. It's all time four wheel drive, block front and rear, big block Chevy. I mean, it, it's it's a beast, man. Not, there's not much mud that thing can't go through. And uh, it was built by Allen. I, I don't really remember his last name, but he's a local here in Kansas City. And uh, Robert Jenkins bought the truck. We've changed it a little bit, not much. Put the roll bar in it, put some chrome on it, made it look nice. Uh, 
put bigger tires on it and stuff like that. Yeah. We're still we're still in the process of making it to new owners truck so there's some more things to change. But, uh, this this is all in all show truck. It doesn't do anything cool or crazy. I mean it looks really good. Chrome drive shaft, chrome traction bars, um, 468 big block built. Fully the interior is fully done. Motor's fully done. It's got air conditioning from what I what I understand. Um, light, all the neon lights underneath. Uh, it's got it's got all the bells and whistles and beautiful paint job. Pretty and big. <laughs> yes, sir. Pretty and big. It's the way my boss likes it. So. It's, it's, a, it's a show winner. I mean, it's, it's won a few shows. So. Yeah. Yeah. And what's your name? My name's Corey. Corey. Well, I appreciate you giving a yes, quick sir. breakdown on them. So yes, sir. Hopefully, definitely like to see this in action. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring her out to crew with Mountain Adventures. So see right. if I can get that bounty. All right. <laughs> well, we back from the car show with all that rain going on. I don't know if you saw in the video. She didn't get too dirty. Of course, there's the budget built. So we ain't getting nothing this time. The Impala one. Uh, uh, the last time at one of those shows but i guess the cutlass wasn't just uh custom enough for them or whatever the case may be it wasn't a real trophy anyway um not to sound like a hater or nothing but uh um it is what it is so it's gonna be actually two parts um to the video uh i did something different this time i did as you can see interview of a couple cars it's going to be on this video part one which you just saw and then on the next one is going to be a couple more cars one it's a bad blazer now he did deserve that he got best of show and you'll see what i'm talking about on part two but but this one this is going to do it to next car show or how to or turbo build or whatever the case may be see you next time go ahead and hit that like share subscribe button see you next time peace